Hello everyone. I am going to solve the one numerical on gear type. That is from OVT question paper February March 2022 question number 7E. Problem is that a simple gear train consists of 3 gears. The number of teeth on the driving gear is 60. On the roller gear is 40 and on the driven gear is 80. If the driving gear rotates at 1200 rpm find speed of driven gear and also the velocity ratio sketch the arrangement of gear drive this numerical is of simple gear train simple gear train means each shaft consists of one gear only and here the three gears are there therefore the three shafts are to be there for that First one, whatever the gear is there, that is the driving gear, it is having the teeth of 60 and driven gear uh, having the teeth of 80 and in between that one, there is a roller gear that is a called as a idler gear also, that is called as a intermediate gear also. It is having the 40 teeth. This is for the facility that is uh, to whatever the change in the, the velocity is there for that reason that intermediate or a roller gear can be used from. Here this this is the numerical and first we will take the what are the given data are there then we will go for the solving numerical. The first number of teeth on the driving gear T1 that is given 60, number of teeth on the roller gear T2 is 40 and number of teeth on the driven gear T3 that is equal to 80. The speed of the driving gear is given N1 1200 rpm. And what to find in this numerical the speed of the driven gear n3 we need to find out and velocity ratio it can be given as the t3 by t1 that can be given as the n1 by n3 also okay then moving further here we know that velocity ratio for driving gear and the roller gear first we will apply the velocity ratio for the driving gear and the roller gear that can be given as the n1 by n2 is equal to t2 by t1 here the n1 the driving gear speed we know and the t2 t1 we know there is a number of teeth on the uh, driving gear and the roller gear therefore n2 we can find out therefore n2 is equal to n1 into t1 by t2 that is equal to 1200 into 60 by 40 and that can be calculated as, as calculated at 1800 rpm velocity ratio for roller gear and driven gear again we will take the velocity ratio for uh, roller gear and the driven gear that is n2 by n3 is equal to t3 by t2 the n2 is the roller gear speed n3 is the driven gear speed and t3 is the number of teeth on driven gear and t2 will be the number of teeth on roller gear. Therefore, simplification of this one will give n3 is equal to n2 into t2 by t3. If you substitute these values, what we have calculated the t, uh, n2 from the previous here. Then if you substitute that one, we will have the n3 is equal to speed of the driven gear is 900 rpm. Further moving, the velocity ratio is asked. The velocity ratio always concerned between the driven and driving gear, intermediate gear for that we are not going to consider. For that reason velocity ratio is given as the T3 by T1 that is equal to 80 by 60 that is 1.33. In this numerical also they ask to sketch the gear train. As I told you that one it is a simple gear train and for that each shaft is having the one gear. Therefore, the three gears are there. This is the driven gear, that is the input, and this is the roller gear, intermediate gear, and this is the driven gear. Okay, then here this driving gear rotating in the clockwise direction, and this roller gear rotates in the anti clockwise direction. Therefore, the output or a driven gear rota also rotates in the clockwise direction. To get the same rotation and any speed variations in the gear ratio we are going to use the gear trains okay thank you and watch some other videos by subscribing my channel and thank you on and all